Hi, I'm John, a community currency engineer, Termel, and these are the articles and sites that I've culled in the last few months talking about community currencies around the world. Most of them, I say, hey, best of all, adopt a time standard of money and your five-hour bills will get you a night of accommodation in Europe like I got 10 years ago. So it makes everything compatible. Now, I just can't read all of these things to you. So I prepared a compendium of the top 30 or 40 or 50 great articles from the biggies, ABC, CNN, United USA Today. Incredible exposure as the depression forces people to look to alternate forms of money. Soon global time-based currency will be a fact of life. Watch it. Okay, so here's the rush of good news about as fast as I can. This is... Uh, about a homemade currency making a comeback in Thailand. That's good news. Here's from the Time Standard in, I believe in Florida, talking about community currency gaining visibility, Donna Tam, on the 19th of January this year. Then we have the Money Go Round, January 22nd, from Munich in The Economist. Will old-fashioned script make a comeback? Well, it is, isn't it? Then we have from CKOW TV in Madison, Wisconsin, banking on bartering in a tight economy, February the 8th. February 25th, time banks paying off for community, Detroit Free Press. And then February 27th, the marketplace at publicradio.org, banking your time to save you money. An article from the Ukraine on March the 1st, Podrobnosti in Ukraine. I don't know what it says, but it's got time banking there. ABC News, and it's on March the 1st when Good Morning America talked about paying it forward with a time bank. The new twist of working an hour up front to collect an hour later. Then on March the 2nd, Bartering Makes Comeback for Those Short on Cash by Ann Wallace Allen, the Associated Press. And this was published in the Baltimore Sun and probably many more. Uh, Brooklyn Daily Eagle, Time Bank Volunteer Barter Hours program launched in Brooklyn, 4th of March. And then still the 4th of March, Food Back Local Money at CampfireTheOilDrum.com. And what about clothes back local money and tires back local money and all sorts of back local money? Why just food? Then the South Bend Tribune on March the 5th talking about will currency concept pay group aims to create local trade initiative by Kim Kilbride and then Spiegel in Germany Germany's local currencies economic cure or fool's gold by Niels Kwather and he talks about their history of using their own poker chips in the past there too April 1st small businesses flocking to new barter currency talking about dib space I believe that's in Seattle we'll hear more then on April the 4th, program your own money at Liberator Magazine. Good stuff. And then the big one, the 5th of April. Communities print their own currency to keep cash flowing by Marisol Bello, USA Today, the biggest newspaper in the United States. Talking about a small but growing number of cash-strapped communities who are printing their own money. Yay! Borrowing from a Depression-era idea. USA Today, good stuff. April 6th, the Huffington Post talking about USA Today's article and saying it's not new, it's been around a long time. And they want you to send in your photos of your local money submissions to the local currency at Huffington Post. And then the distributed voice, the same day, and talking about Huffington on the 6th. Huffington blog gets it right on local currency, so they agree too. Then April the 6th, Communities Printing Money by Jim Brogan, and this is at the Post Chronicle, and I don't know where that is. Then we have April 6th still, Richard Gillis, The True Value of Pounds and Cents, The Irish Times, talking about the Lowe's Pound and the community currencies there. Still April 6th, Alternative Currencies on the Rise in Challenging the Commonplace. And then... Uh, Keep money in the community. Start by printing it. Sarah Gilbert, and that's at Walt Pop. And then ABC News, ABC 11 in Raleigh. I guess that's one of the Carolinas. Local town to create its own currency. Yeah. Then on April 6th, still Grad Street Madness. Let a thousand monies bloom. You got it, kids. 
And then Joe Wiesenthal in the Business Insider. Local currencies make sense in this economy, April 7th. Still April 7th, local currencies emerging. And still April 8th. Economics 2, Neighborhood New Deal through Local Currencies. And that's at the Bardic Media. And then Should Hawaii Print Its Own Currency, April 8th by Kim at the Quarter Life Cafe. You're darn right, they better. Are they going to starve? April 8th, Local Currencies to the Economic Rescue. Eva Kochanska, Atlanta Examiner. Yes, to the rescue. Seattle Post Intelligencer, April 8th, doing an article about the Dib Space, a barter currency group who started up and they got like 600 members in seven weeks. Hey, you go. You got 2,000. These guys got 607 weeks. You're doing something wrong. Community currencies print their own cur uh, communities print their own currency to keep flat cash flowing. Wednesday, April 8th, and that's at the Econo Christian. Good stuff. Glad Christians are starting to be against usury too. Fayetteville speaks, developing a local currency, April 9th. And then, oh, back to Dib Space in Seattle, a seven-week-old bartering currency. An article on April the 10th. And then the Huffsters share stories of the local currencies, and they want a slideshow April the 10th. So Huffington is looking for local currencies to do a slideshow. And then Fox News on April the 10th again. Communities print their own currencies to keep money local. Fox News, pretty big, right? And the Stanford Herald, community battles the economy with its own uh, uh, currency. Rebecca Cowell, Herald correspondent, April the 10th still. And April the 10th still, local U.S. currency strengthens community from the Intelligence Daily. Still the 10th, B.J. Lawson and Susan Witt on Fox Business. Local currencies on the rise. Talking about Berkshire's. And the next day at the Daily Paul, Paul Ron Paul's site, B.J. Lawson talks about local currencies on Fox News, reported April 11th on Ron Paul's site. Hey, Ron, are you listening? Wake up! Gold is for dinosaurs! He's got it right! Community currency! Wake up! And they called Lawson the Ron Paul Jr. Hey, we should call him the Ron Paul High Tech versus the Ron Paul Low Tech. Local currencies abound. The Daily Ken, I believe, is in Indiana. And they're talking about Berkshires again on the 11th. And on the 13th, AICC, the Australian Institute for Community Currencies, starts up the Baroon Dollar Project. Good for you. Portfolio.com talks about the future of currencies. An article, DYI, Do Your Own Currencies, by uh, Douglas Ruskoff. And he talks about in China, for example, a Chinese online social network called QQ produced QQ coins that became widely traded, used for almost a billion dollars a year in transactions. Could have been Canadian Tire money. Similar. Even though the currency was designed just to buy things on the QQ network, other websites started accepting QQ coins too. Just like neighbors start accepting Ithaca hours, even though they say they're only spendable in Ithaca. They're not. So, and the Chinese government cracked down. They feared the QQ could trigger inflation. Shift A inflation, too much money in a world starved of money. So you can see how these shift A believers in inflation like Ron Paul and in China, these people, Ron Paul must be applauding the crushing of the community serve. Hey, Ron Paul's against inflation too. Well, maybe Ron Paul Jr. can explain it to him. And also, an even more popular form of complementary currency has grown around cell phone minutes. Today, Kenyans use a service called M-Pesa that helps people swap mobile phone minutes as cash. Yeah! So basically, they can't stop that, can they? Even in China, wake up, call it phone minutes, and they got to leave you alone. So then Reuters did an article on the 20th of April by Pooja Barwani. This Singapore embraces barter in recession. Yes, sir. And then uh, CNN, no kidding. Some communities are printing their own currency. CNN.com, April 22nd, a couple of days ago. CNN, yes, sir, talking about community currency. Friday 24th, long live local stimulus. Yes, sir, the Irish Times. 
And in some good news, let's wow, Facebook wants to give credit where credit is due. So Facebook wants to set up a community currency on their database. Yeah, I always predicted just one large database gets it going. Oh, Twitter, they want to set up a community currency on their big database. Wow, two major databases. And all they got to do is adopt the time standard and they're compatible with each other. Good news. Oh, here's another one from kilowattcards.com. And they want kilowatt hours as the money. Well, yeah, human time is a better energy than kilowatt hours. You know, besides, you've got to come up with the electricity to back up your kilowatt hours. And you can always have a poor guy come up with time, but you can't always have a generator, right? So switch. Now, videos that are making it. This is, I found this time bank and economy for everybody in Germany. And I found another one, Berkshire's on ABC 40. That was December 2008. And then solving the poverty problem with a time-based economy. Another video at YouTube. And finally, this kid in New Hampshire, a new alternate currency goes into action. He's a handyman who's spending his IOUs and say, come back, you got an hour's worth of labor. Good for you, his name is Jesse. So I said, I did the same thing when I paid on the internet for my trip to Europe 10 years ago. So that's the good news that's happening around the world on Let's.